Hi, I'm Patrick Mannion with Electronic Design and I'm joined by Gary Waldo here who's going to give us a quick demonstration of the new 5 Series MSO from Titronics. Uh, Gary, can you give us a quick rundown of what you have here? Sure, the 5 Series MSO is bringing some significant new industry first to the market. Uh, first off, it's the, the first scope with reconfigurable inputs. Each one of these inputs here can be either a single analog channel or eight digital channels. You can imagine the configurations you can come up with with that. Next, it's the first product family with four, six, or eight analog channels. Fantastic 15.6 inch HD display. That's, That's huge. Yeah. Full HD, 1024 by 1920, or 1920 by 1080. With capacitive touch, we'll run through that in just a minute here. Uh, next, just imp how impressive the display is, it actually takes up about 85% of the front face of the instrument. Uh, 15% consumed with the front panel here, which still retains the critical controls necessary for driving the scope. Many things have been moved into the user interface, which you'll see in a minute here in the demonstration. Uh, it's the first user interface actually designed for touch, and the instrument has an optional Windows operating system. So how, uh, how do you add the Windows operating system? So if you look down here on the bottom of the instrument, there is an access panel, and behind that, if there's a solid state drive with a Windows license and operating system, and if right. that's present, then the instrument boots as open Windows and you can install, install other applications and software on it, etc. If that drive's not present, it boots as a dedicated scope. Hang on, those are odd legs. Can you describe what? Oh uh, yeah, these, these feet are really cool. So notice this little action here. Right. So when the scope leans forward, if you want to get behind it to do something, these feet will not collapse with pressure on them. But uh, when the good. scope is set back down, they will fold away when the pressure is not on them. Very cool design. So no more collapsing scopes. So you have eight channels, but yet you have so, so few buttons. Can you explain how that works? Yeah, so as I turn on channels here, notice that the vertical scale and position knobs uh, are assigned to the channel, so they're red right now, they're on channel 3. Right. If I select 2, they're on channel 2, and so on. Continues through all eight channels here. So it makes it pretty clear which channel you're on by the color coordination. Exactly. I guess. Yeah, very nice. Okay. I guess the waveforms coordinate to the colors as well on the, on the channel, right? So, yes. so the waveforms on the screen will exactly. match. Exactly. Okay. Right. Exactly. And right now, talking about one of the major industry first of this instrument, the reconfigurable, in reconfigurable inputs. Right now on channel 3, I have our new Tektronix Logic Probe that gives me eight digital channels here. Right. And they're displayed here. If I disconnect this probe, channel 3 has converted back to an analog channel. Very good. Okay. All right. So I, I clearly one of the big aspects of the, of the 5 Series MSO is the display. So can you run through some of the touch screen and, and explain why it is so touch screen oriented, right? Yeah, so the, the, this wonderful new large capacitive touch display has enabled us to develop a, a next generation user interface truly designed for touch. Right. So the things you would expect to happen, I can vertically position the waveform, I can horizontally scale the waveform, I can vertically expand it, vertically scale it, position, horizontal position, etc. All of these gestures that you would expect from the devices you interact with every day are found in this instrument. So the Graticule moves, uh, moves as well, right? Yeah, the Graticule moves around as well with in Graticule labels making it very easy to quickly eyeball timing and amplitude measurements. Gotcha, okay. How do you add in mul uh, multiple waveforms? Yeah so, I, yeah, so if I turn on additional channels down here, right. this is what we call our new stacked display mode where waveforms are automatically separated from each other, yet each slice is still using the full uh, A to D range. So you get automatically uh, separated and clearly displayed waveforms while each one is still giving the most accurate view possible. What's all this stuff on the side? So these are in Graticule labels over here. Okay. Is that what you were referring to? Yep. Yeah. And then there's all sorts of things around the display here that provide immediate access to the most commonly used functions. I can turn on additional math, reference, and bus waveforms. I can get access to the integrated DVM and AFG. I have 
immediate visibility of the important aspects of my operating conditions, so channel one, channel two, and channel three badges, right. my horizontal settings, trigger settings. Okay. And up here, I have immediate access to the most commonly used analysis functions. So for example, I can turn on cursors, you see they appear in the display. If I want them on a different channel, just touch the other channel. If I want to turn on measurements, just drag measurements out. Oh, very nice. Okay. And maybe I'll turn on a positive pulse width measurement, which you see appears over here in what I call our results bar. Can you, uh, can you swipe that bar away? You can. So you touch that little oh, icon okay. there, and now my full screen width is for waveform display. To get it back, simply swipe left into the display and it comes back. When you touch the screen, uh, do you have any, is it context aware? Yeah, so this is actually a great question. So there's many things you can do with a double tap here. You access con configuration menus throughout the interface with double taps. Right. So if I double tap channel one there, I get its settings, its configuration menu. Right. If I double tap trigger, I get its menu. If I double tap the measurement, I can change how the measurement's taken. I can show statistics in right. the badge. In all these cases, these configuration menus that come up are dismissed simply by touching outside of them. And this even extends into things in the display as well. If I want to change my cursors, I double tap the cursors or their readouts, or double tap an open space, and I can change the way waveforms are displayed. One other thing about these configuration menus, I can actually drag them around, place them wherever I want, in case they happen to be blocking something. They're also slightly transparent. They're transparent, okay. That's a, that's a pretty cool feature, so you can see so I'm missing something that might happen in the background. Exactly. To examine it, okay. Um, so just go back to the channels quickly uh, before we wrap up. So you can mix and match any number of channels yes. on the flex channel? Yes. Feature, okay. Yeah, anywhere from, with this particular instrument here, anywhere from eight analog channels and no digital channels, all the way up to no analog channels and 64 digital channels. Right, right. And uh, what's the price range for it, roughly? Uh, for it, is, it goes from 12600 up to 40600 depending on the configuration of the instrument. Can you get some of the quick um, performance characteristics of it? Yes, so the bandwidth, rate, right. the bandwidth range of the family is 350 megahertz up to 2 gigahertz. Right. Uh, sample rate of 6 and a quarter gigasamples per second on all analog and digital channels. 62.5 meg standard record length and up to 125 meg optional. Half a million waveforms per second capture rate. 12 bit A to D. Uh, integrated protocol analyzer, logic analyzer. Um, DVM, AFG, uh, trigger frequency counter, those last couple are actually free when you register the product with Tektronix. You get a DVM and a trigger frequency counter for free. Very nice. So this took a whole re uh, redesign of your architecture then, right? Yes, absolutely. This, the ground this, up. this platform completely redesigned in every aspect. Everything about it is brand new. Very nice. Okay. Congratulations. All right. Thank okay, you. Appreciate it. Bye-bye now. Bye.